The subject I want to cover today is the absolute minimal level of knowledge that I strongly believe all administrators, system administrators as well as database administrators, need to know. I want to cover the basic usage of grid infrastructure, the minimum that all administrators need to know. And I really do want to emphasize that it isn't just database administration, it's system administration. It's even network administrators, storage administrators, all types of administrators, perhaps even payroll administrators, all types of administrators in a technical environment really do need to study grid infrastructure. Why? It's because in the Oracle environments, the database administration and system administration roles are converging the domains are merging together and all organizations now need to make a decision about where these functions actually should reside. Now from my own experience it's true to say that when implementing grid infrastructure most sites, the majority of sites, add responsibilities to the database administration domain but that isn't always true. Now I've worked at sites, particularly sites where grid infrastructure was replacing third party products such as Veritas Clusterware or IBM HACMP, where the grid infrastructure administration was in fact given to the system administrators. And there's quite a lot of sense to that because what is grid infrastructure? It's techniques for managing the network, managing storage, managing the clusterware and that has traditionally always been system administration work. But because the product comes from Oracle uh, probably the majority of sites, it does tend to be the database administrators who have to extend their role into the system administration domain. But whenever, whoever has the job of administering grid infrastructure, whether it's the DBA or the SA, both sides need to understand it. I also want to emphasize that this is not about RAC. Of course grid infrastructure is the platform on which RAC real application clusters databases will run in most circumstances. But most of what I'm going to cover in this short session is also applicable to single instance databases and a lot of it is in fact applicable to applications that have nothing to do with databases at all. And this is because grid infrastructure is a lot more than support services for Rack. It is indeed fully functional general purpose clusterware. Now, the three major topics I'm going to go through are just some of the facilities that grid infrastructure provides for network administration, some of the facilities it provides for storage administration, and if we have time, I want to run through some of the high availability capabilities that are provided by the clusterware parts of grid infrastructure. So, first, network management. 